Hello everybody, it's Zephyrault Level 4 for the weekly update. Uh, a few things today. First off, um, Final Fantasy 7 videos are going to continue this week. Uh, we had 5 last week. Um, additionally, um, yeah, wow, uh, I guess Tuesday is my Let's Playing anniversary, isn't it? April 2nd. I haven't even thought about doing a video for that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be making a fancy video, it's probably just going to be another one of those, like, talking about things, but we're not getting, like, a trailer for upcoming things, because I don't have any plans for this year. Uh, but maybe we'll talk about that in the anniversary video. Uh, also, I'm in the middle of Final Fantasy VII re uh, Rebirth, so um, that's kind of going to take priority for a few months, at least. Um... But yeah, last week I did that Bluey stream, and we broke the game a lot, but we also beat it. Um, so thank you, Jimmy. This week, uh, I don't know about streams. I kind of want to get back into Lethal Company with Fury, Misei, and Luca, but we'll have to see what their schedules are. Um, this past week also was the last week of my second semester of grad school. So yay, happy me, I, I did it. Um, the next semester has started already, today, so, um, yay. Technically it starts tomorrow, but yeah. Um, so fun times there. Let's see, this past week I also finished playing AI, uh, it's not AI, it's I. It's the letters AI, but I learned that it's I, the Somnium Files. Um, so I finished that game, fantastic. I started, uh, I, the Nirvana Initiative. Uh, which is also really, really good so far. Um, let's see... I decided to stop posting things on DeviantArt because lately they've been promoting AI art sellers as being, like, really high-selling people where it's kind of a money laundering thing it's just a bunch of the same ai art people buying each other's stuff to inflate their value it's really weird so yeah i'm not posting on deviantart anymore um for a while until they do something so probably that's probably it for me which sucks because deviantart was where i got the most engagement on all of my art especially the like the niche art the uh the deep sea taiko stuff tons of views and engagement and furry art also. <laughs> um, so, yeah. It kind of sucks because Twitter is garbage for anybody looking at my stuff or sharing it. Um, Discord isn't really made for sharing things. It's just, like, for, for resharing things. And Blue Sky, not enough people use that. Or repost things there uh so nobody sees it so yeah um that sucks so whatever i don't i don't have like a, a solution for that um let's see let's see let's see what else this past week uh i did two patreon pieces speaking of deep sea art I have two Patreon pieces. One is, uh, you're probably not going to be able to see it too well. You're just going to see the reflection of my screen. But uh, uh, Deep Sea Zach uh, with a squid. You should see it on Twitter. It's cool. The other one was uh, Cisne from Crisis Core uh, Final Fantasy VII. I like both of those pictures. I have one more drawing for this month, and I'm going to do it today because it's the last day of the month. I didn't think I would finish things this month, but... Uh, got a lot easier to do things once I finished up my work for the semester. Um, in terms of other things, my dad is doing all right. Um, he's kind of tired now from just the effects of the chemo starting to, you know, take effect. Um, he has a free week this week, and then next Monday is the start of his next cycle. Um, so hopefully he'll have a good week this week. Um, and 
Da, 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 da. Anything else interesting happened this week? Not really. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. So, um, happy Easter to those celebrating today. I, I'm obviously not celebrating it, um, but uh, I hope those who are have a wonderful holiday. Uh, it's also today... Um, the trans day of visibility so for all my trans friends out there who I can now see I, I love you <laughs> I don't have anything better than that I'm sorry um, so usually like Easter is near Passover time because they're both like spring holidays uh, but this year was a Jewish leap year which means that the Hebrew calendar got an extra month in it so um, Passover takes place a month after Purim. So Purim is this last was last Sunday. So Passover is going to be um, late April this year. So uh, no no coinciding times, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so that's I think that's around April twenty third, maybe fifteenth, twenty first, maybe somewhere around there. Uh, 20, 20th ish I don't know uh, but yeah so I guess I'm just gonna leave you with uh, you know something I was saying to Junie on Twitter um, I have the words here so I'm just gonna read it uh, so she was saying something about um, being so averse to entitlement that she crossed the line into thinking she doesn't deserve anything um, like the the thoughts of that um, which, you know, is something that I've definitely dealt with, uh, personally of like, I want to make sure that I don't look entitled, but there's like a point where you, where you distance yourself so far from it that like, you're like, I don't, I don't deserve anything or I'm worthless. And those aren't, those aren't the same thing. Like we have to, you have to be careful that you don't do that. And I'm not, this isn't me talking about her. This is now me talking just in general. Um, but, uh, basically what I said on Twitter, I'm just going to read what I said here because it's easier than paraphrasing myself. Um, uh, and she said like that she's working on it and that you, know, it's important to have self-respect. So I said, it's, it's great to be aware of things like entitlement, but that has nothing to do with self-respect and being proud of yourself. Um, it's not entitlement if you it's something that you actually deserve or worked for. Um, and people that get mad at that are just jealous or insecure. Like if you work for something and you get it and everyone is angry at you, then like, that's not on you. That's on them. Um, and, uh, you know, I said also like as someone who has to work through the feelings as well, being proud of yourself shouldn't clash with your humility. You know, you can be humble and know your worth. Um, humility doesn't mean that you're trash. It just means that you understand the significance of the people around you. So, you know, humility is not over-inflating your sense of self, but to be humble doesn't mean to devalue yourself on, like, the opposite end of the spectrum. So, yeah, just remember, you know, it's important to understand, like, your place in the socioeconomic stratum of, of society uh, and that's a fancy way of saying, like, know where you fit in culture and society. But, like, it's also important to, like, not undervalue yourself to the point where you don't enjoy your own achievements. Because, like, that's not, that's not entitled, it's not entitlement when you do something. It's your achievements. It's a completely different idea. So... Yeah, just keep that in mind. You know, the things that you do are, you know, you own those. You know, for better or for worse, we've talked about in the past, but, you know, the things that you do, uh, you own. And, you know, no one can take that away from you. And just, uh, you know, keep that in mind that you can be a humble person, but also understand that you've come a very long way and you've achieved a lot in this world. And, you know... You might not think that you've come a long way or achieved a lot, but you're still here, aren't you? That's That counts for a lot. 
and um, you know just think about like think about the things that you've done in your life and don't think about it in terms of the things that you haven't done because if you spend your life you know only counting the things that you haven't done then your life is just going to be entirely made out of regrets and lost opportunities but you just take a moment and think of the things that you have done in a positive light and not in terms of where you fell short and you'll see that you've come a long way and that's awesome and even if you want to be humble about it you can still be humble and you can still understand the fact that you have achieved a lot in your life so yeah keep being awesome keep being you and keep doing nice things for the people around you big or small because it makes a difference and thank you for listening i'll see you next time goodbye everybody bye bye